Now, Unique Program is aiming to combat anti-Israel sentiment abroad in a very unusual way. Joining us with the details is David Hermelin, the president of the International Center for Public Diplomacy in Israel, and Vera Goulias, a branding and media consultant and participant in this Hasbara program. So, my first question is actually for you, David. What is a secret Hasbara agent? Actually, in the Center for Public Diplomacy, uh, which I chair, we do two main things. First, we qualify Israelis from different disciplines how to improve their skills in the fields of public diplomacy, so-called Hasbara. Mm -hmm. But when we say Hasbara, it's not that we explain ourselves apologetically, but mm -hmm. we explain to colleagues from around the world how we see the situation in Israel in the, and in the Middle East from our subjective patriotic Israeli attitude. So who are these secret agents within that then? We teach uh, Israelis uh, facts and way to how it's better to transfer messages to different uh, 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 publics around the world. And then we integrate them in international events, okay. not as delegation, but as individuals. And when the participants, the other participants from around the world, when they ask them, uh, uh, questions about Israel and the Middle East, then they can express themselves. So, Virag, you know, yeah. we, I, I know that you're from Hungary originally. Yeah. Uh, so how did you how did you kind of get involved with anti-Semitism and Hasbara? Yeah, it's and a come whole balagan. Exactly, it's a balagan. That's the first Hebrew word I learned. <laughs> uh, I'm from Hungary originally. I live in New York for three years now. It all started with an Israeli guy. I cannot lie about that, but <laughs> it it didn't stop there. Okay, so I've been back to Israel 17 times, and I don't know. I was coming from a very anti-Semitic background, not because of yeah. Hungary. I want to say that sure. it was just in the society. And I talk in my lectures a lot about the different types of anti-Semitism. So mine was coming from ignorance. Mm -hmm. I didn't know better. I just knew the Jewish jokes and the Jewish stereotypes. But it was not really hate-driven, just ignorance. Sure. Okay, so that's how it started. And I came to Israel for the first time, and that changed something in as much that actually I just graduated in a master program in Jewish studies in Tudor College in Manhattan. Congratulations. So I, I really went far with this. So, so what was the point when you realized that you wanted to help change the discourse about Israel? The more I came here, the more it became like such a weird atmosphere around Israel. Like, why Israel is always singled out? I worked at the EU, and then I worked at the UN as a consultant, and then I was like, what's going on with this Israel obsession? So you know, you noticed that there was absolutely. Kind of a, a and, yes. and, and why do you think, now having worked in these organizations, why do you think that they're, that's the case? You know, it, it's um, smarter people than um, I am cannot really answer it why. But I really think that what I see is, is the enormous ignorance and in U.S., for mm -hmm. example, that the victimhood mentality is on the other side right now. So people like to belong. It's a psychology. Just like I always give an example in school, when you are, only the, non when you are the only non-smoker, you are an outcast. Mm -hmm. So it's so much easier to march with BDS now than be a proud Jew or a proud Zionist. And that's sad. But it's interesting because you say that you had this upbringing where you were surrounded yeah. by anti-Semitic jokes and comments. Yeah. So could this have something to do with anti-Semitism that just inherently exists within these yes. institutions? Yes, but if you see Europe, there is a huge divide between Western Europe and Eastern Europe. What I always say, anti-Semitism is not something we can just kill. It's always going to be there because it's going to be there. But in Eastern Europe, it uh, is coming in verbatim, you know, so like a comment. Mm -hmm. Whereas in Western Europe, Jews are being stabbed. So there is a r different shades and different layers of anti-Semitism. On the one hand, you can change that with education. I really believe in that because if I could change, everybody can change. You just need to ask yourself the questions. I started to ask, why did I dislike the Jews? Who told me to dislike the Jews? Is it really true? Is it not true? So mm -hmm. you can dig deeper and ask. So then, David, what do you think is the answer in terms of getting people like, you know, our, our good friend here to change their minds? Besides sending Israelis to other countries, the most important thing is to bring opinionists and policymakers uh, to come and visit Israel. This is why the International Center for Public Diplomacy uh, invites regularly uh, people from different disciplines, politicians, scholars, academics, students, political activists, officials, etc., etc., and we invite them to experience Israel by professional study trip, and then they can see the, uh, the reality as it is. And during their professional visit in Israel, they can see the Israeli spirit and ask questions about mm -hmm. also the political situation, about our uh, heritage and background, 
and uh, I invite our audience to uh, Facebook us mm -hmm. or uh, International Center for Public Diplomacy in Israel on Facebook or in Google, and we will be very happy to assist any professional group right. to visit Thank and experience so Israel. This is an incredible program. Yeah. Thank you guys so much. Thank, Thank you so you. much for having us.